Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel, thanks for joining today. Maybe you've been in the market for a light bar and you just want something that's feature packed but the wiring has you overwhelmed or maybe you just want a simple, reliable solution. Well, you come to the right place. I'm excited to introduce to you some of the newest offerings from our friends over at Bright Source. We have the 20 inch titanium T4 quad function dual beam light bar and the plug and play switch specifically designed for it. Let's go. Let's kick it off with the star of the show, the 20 inch titanium T4 quad function dual beam light bar. It's a lot to say, trust me. So I'm just gonna open it up here and we're gonna take a closer look. Beautiful. So here it is here. This does have all the important safety certifications. I'll flash them on the screen here so you can pick the ones that are relevant to where you may live. Now I'll talk about the specs as we take a closer look at the light bar, but if you want all of the specs, definitely check out Bright Source's website. I'll be leaving a link in the video description below. This also works in sub-zero temperatures. That's right, minus 45 degrees Celsius up to plus 65 Celsius. I'll put the Fahrenheit ratings or the equivalents on the screen here. So I mentioned this is quad function, so let's talk about those lighting options. So first, you have a 6,000K driving light. You also have a 3,000K fog light. You have these dual amber safety flashers, and this middle bar right here is either an amber or a white marker light. This means you get versatility for various driving conditions, enhancing visibility and safety while driving on the road. Constructed with durability in mind, the body is made of aluminum with an anodized polyester powder coating providing robust protection against the elements. The lens is crafted from Lexan polycarbonate, making it not only durable, but also scratch resistant. For that extra peace of mind, you get a three year limited warranty. Now let's move on to how you can effortlessly hook this up with the plug and play switch kit. Say goodbye to hours of installation frustration with this quick and convenient and also secure setup. BrightSource has made installation of Breeze with the use of their plug and play switch kit designed specifically for the 20 inch titanium T4 quad function dual beam light bar. Let's take a closer look at what's in the kit. This kit features an all-in-one controller with integrated relays and four function buttons, each programmable separately for on and off momentary operation. The soft touch silicone buttons with dual color LED background add a touch of sophistication to the design. With a quarter inch threaded hole, the kit offers more mounting options and even has a 20 amp combined output capacity so you're sure to have ample power when you fuel your light bar. It also has this snap-in mount for convenient mounting options. We also have our power harness, we have our five meter extension cable, and we we have a high beam trigger adapter as an optional item to use if you want your light to work with your high beams. This kit also comes with a two year limited warranty. Let me show you just how simple this is to install. We'll start here in my garage and then we'll take it to an actual vehicle. We'll start from the light bar. We have our connector right here. Assuming it was mounted exactly where we wanted it, we're going to use our extension cable. We're going to plug in the proper end, make our connection, and then we're going to take the extension cable and hook it up to our switch. All plug and play, all very easy to do. It'll click when it's done, confirming that it's in the right spot. Now we have to get power to our switch, which will then turn on the light bar, which is where our power harness comes in. So there is a positive and negative connector here. And now this, we're just gonna connect to my RV battery for demonstration purposes. Now theoretically everything should work. We should be able to turn the switch on. Should be all backlit. And then we pick each device. So let's start with the driving light. Nice and bright. We have our fog light. We have our safety flashers. And we have our marker lights or position lights. There's the white. Press it again, there's the amber, so it goes off one color, off, one color. And we can have everything on at the same time if we choose. What I like about the switch is it does have memory. So if I have it on and I pick say the safety lights and the fog light, when I turn it off, it's gonna remember that's what I had on previously. Turn it on, there we go. I showed you the operation without the high beam trigger, meaning that this just works however we want, when we want, and has nothing to do with the high beam functions on the vehicle. Some people want to have their high beams trigger the driving light. So I'm going to show you how to do this by adding this in line to this kit. I'm just going to disconnect the power while I do this. 
Now what we do is we go to the harness at any location, whether it be before or after the extension cable. Pick the one that's most convenient for you because what you're gonna need to do is plug this in line. Very simple, it can't be messed up. And then this wire here is now your trigger wire for your high beams. So this needs to either tap into the positive wire of the high beam circuit on your vehicle or tap the fuse box where your fuse location might be for your high beams. So that's where you have to decide where you want to connect it. So you can make sure this wire reaches where you need it to go, but you could always extend it. So now we're going to reconnect the power. Now because this harness is connected, what's going to happen is when this is turned on, fog works, safety works, the position lights work, but my driving light doesn't work. The main floodlight does not work at all. That's because it's reliant on a high beam signal. So what I can do is connect the power on this and now it works. Now I can turn this off, turn this on. This is simulating by me just touching the battery that my high beams are on. You can also override it by turning the switch off. So if there's the odd time when you turn your high beams on and you don't want this light to come on automatically, just make sure it's turned off on the panel. But because we're dealing with an automotive product, I have a vehicle I think that we should quickly wire it up to, just in a temporary fashion, to kind of show what this light bar looks like on an actual vehicle. So I got my F-150 pulled in here. This is a work truck that I own. It's not the typical truck you see on my channel, but here it is nonetheless. We are going to do a very temporary install, but again, show you how simple it is to wire up to this vehicle. We have a few different mounting options for the light bar. It does come with all the necessary hardware. Let me show you. So we have your typical side mount brackets. These would go here. They've got these little notches on them, which just help with securing the light bar in different positions for different angles. You have the bolts that would hook that up. And then you have a mounting bolt, which would go into whatever mounting plate or bracket that you may have that you're gonna secure it to. What I'm gonna do for this temporary install is I'm going to use these brackets here. They have a special nut that actually fits in a recess on the back of the bar. So this nut right here, it simply slides in down the channel. You're going to add a bracket like that. Then you're going to add a washer and you're gonna add the nylon nut. And then you just need to figure out where this bracket is going to be positioned for your final install. What I'm going to do is a little bit crazy. We're gonna use some C sucker mounts. So I'm just gonna mount these to these screws here. Again, this is because it's very temporary and we are going to secure it in that flat area above the front windshield. Okay, the light bar is in place for better or worse. These are just sea suckers. This is temporary. I'm not advocating for this to be any type of permanent solution, but what a cool way to quickly put a light bar up on something that didn't have one moments before. So now we just have to connect this to our extension cable. Now we plug the extension cable into our switch. It's a nice tight fit. Now we just have to hook up power. Remember, this is just a demonstration. We're doing this completely temporary. I'm not going to run the wiring through one of the firewall access points. You usually have two of them. There is one right there, and there's usually one on the other side. And yes, I know it's there. It's on the other side of the brake fluid reservoir. And you can usually just either slice or cut. There's a little protrusion there. You can cut into it, and then you can fish wire through it, and that'll get you into the cab. We are just going to run it over the weather stripping outside the hood to connect everything, just so we can demonstrate what this light bar looks like at night.
there I just pushed it down tucked it in here behind the hood a little bit because we are going to take it out on the road to get some night footage for you now we'll just connect this inside the cab this is the spot right here I'm not pinching it so right there is our widest gap guys remember this is not how I would do a thorough install this is all just temporary it's going to be on there all of 15 minutes now we can connect our switch There's going to be somebody out there watching this video partway through only seeing this janky installation which again is temporary this is just so we can go look at the light bar at night this is just to illustrate again how quick and simple this light bar in this kit can make adding a light bar to your vehicle so now we just have to wait till it gets dark Well, there you go. That was the 20 inch titanium T4 quad function dual beam light bar and the plug and play switch kit. Now you can transform your driving experience with ease. There's a lot of features with this light bar that I like. I like that the driving light is narrow focused. It's not just a flood. And I really like that fog light. I'm starting to think I'm going to swap out my 20 inch bar on my truck for this one here. Not sure yet, but I'm leaning that way. A very nice product. And it has so many functions built into one light bar. So if you want to learn more, head over to brightsource.ca. Don't worry, they ship anywhere in North America. If you want to save yourself a little bit of money, use the promo code Dawn's Life. We'll also be seeing some more products that Bright Source offers here on the Dawn's Life channel, so stay tuned. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing, and we'll talk to you next time.